A five by five storage unit can hold a lot of stuff. It can hold treasure and it can hold trash. It's up for you to decide if it's worth buying or not. And today, well. I purchased this storage unit for a whopping $5. It's filled. Filled with what? Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> Well. <laughs> well, Renee, are you crazy? Perhaps. We have some tires. We have lots and lots of luggage. So honestly, no idea what could be in the luggage. Could be good clothes, bad clothes, no clothes. Could be garbage, like what's right down here. We have some uh, briquettes. Some food, which not uh, that's not necessarily a, a good sign. But yeah, we're gonna find out what is in the luggage. So, I think I'm gonna wait and leave this trash down here. Get some of the stuff from the top or even from the side. I did bring some trash bags. Remember that when you do a storage clean out, you cannot leave anything behind because if you do, you most likely will be um, banned from that storage facility in the future. Right, let's just start with this guy. Let's see what we got. If anything, maybe clothes, jeans, St. John's Bay. Oh, I think I see some hunting gear. Nice Winchester jacket. Good for the flea market. I mean, this is five bucks here. I made my money. <laughs> Made my money back within the first, what, three minutes of looking in the unit. What's this? General contractor. So we maybe have a, a working, working guy stuff. Penn State. And then, yeah, more hunting clothes. Better check the sides of the bag. Oh, we have some Levi's. I can't, I mean, these obviously aren't vintage, but Levi's are still a good brand of jeans. Vintage shirt? Nope. Live generously. We have some flannels. The good thing about there being all these suitcases is that it makes it easier to pack because if all this was loose there'd be a problem it's also pretty dusty and those are underwears <laughs> so you know that this hasn't been touched in some time i think i see a purse down there looks like a speaker we have a cooler nothing's easy right oh it's kind of garbage bag out of the way all right They never unpack from their trip, it looks like. Soccer. Soccer cam. Toledo. Oh, we have some golf balls. Those are worth five bucks. Do they, do they like steal the stuff from the... Uh, we have some New York uh, Yankees caps. That's, I mean... Toilet paper and tissues. That's where I store my my toilet, my TP and my tissues and a suitcase. Might as well open up this way. More toilet paper. I what? I'm not getting this. Toilet paper. This is food. Gerber, Gerber food, laundry detergents, cooking tray, yeah, more toilet paper. And I, I'm not using or donating the toilet paper that was in here because 
That's not sanitary. Oh gosh. Maybe we should look at one of these Ozark trail bags. This, that sounds like cans. Food. I hope not. Please don't let this be cans of food. Please. Well, it's too light to actually be cans. Oh! Wow! Huh. Well, we have more hunting. Camo flip flops. Life is short, so are my legs. Uh, some kind of medicated cream. A photo book of Dale Earnhardt Jr. Ketchup. Who wants ketchup? Nail polish. Uh, this is a unit that... Oh, there's a knife. This is why you look at things before you stick your hand in them. Oh gosh. It was wrapped in a man's underwear. <laughs> Oh my. Uh, this is a unit when you say, why? Why did you buy this? Well, to show you all what real storage units can be like. Whoa, we got more hunting stuff. Well, we have a Pittsburgh Steelers lunch bag. Well, these aren't really. Maybe change our tune. Is it a vintage sweatshirt? No, it's new. Darn it. Fast Kids <laughs> Championship Series. I got excited. Oh, we have the hunting vest. Mossy Oak. I mean, that's not a, a cheap brand. Close. These will have to be gone through. We'll have to look at pockets, see what's inside. Well, the good news is we have saved Elmo for Christmas. He was hidden behind there. I moved some of the suitcases out, just filled with honestly pretty much garbage. Uh, nothing crazy. Household goods. We have more clothes. Ugh. Tarp. There's like probably a tent, clothes, poor Elmo. We'll get you out of here, bud. Someone would buy him at the flea market for sure. It's just a, a mixture of clothes. You know, the dream, of course, is to find, one, oh, there's a life bag, to find a unit that has all vintage clothing. I mean, that'd be amazing, but instead we found Elmo. So you see, this is the current. So you see, this is the current situation. I have a lot of stuff here that will have to go. Luckily, Taco Stacks is here today, so he can let me uh, utilize his van. But um, there's still a lot left. A five by five storage unit can hold a lot of stuff. It can hold treasure, and it can hold trash. It's up for you to decide if it's worth buying or not. And today, well, yeah, there's, there's no way I'd be able to fit this in my car. No way at all. Thankfully, Taco Stacks is here to help out. And uh, I can utilize his van. Back in there, but it's rolling roll, tire down the road. I don't know. Ooh, it's heavier than I thought. Toaster oven. That's scrap. This is all underwears, it looks like.
Is his arm? Oh no, his arm. His arm goes back in like that. He's not broken. Thank goodness. Oh gosh. He's. <laughs> this is how I feel about this storage unit. <laughs> Sad. So I think what I'm just going to do is work in cleaning this out. Is there anything crazy exciting? That's not really that good to promote this video. <laughs> have nothing uh, but yeah but people buy the units because of the allure that there might be something in there you know maybe those suitcases are filled with x y or z you never know for five dollars it's not like i'm losing money yes i have to put in the time um, to clean it out but that's pretty much i guess all i'd be losing would be time <sighs> They have, a, they have a big trailer. Some of this trash. Some tips for when you, if you buy storage units, uh, bring trash bags, bring buckets to put trash in, whatever you can fit trash in. They trick ya. This is actually a bank. Now, it doesn't sound like there's anything in there, but wouldn't that be awesome if there was some, it's gotta be a bank. This isn't real. Nothing. Huh. They tricked me. Hey, maybe, maybe the next time you see a storage unit that has nothing but canned food, it's actually not canned food. It's banks. Hidden money. For me. There's a safe. Found a safe. <laughs> In the name of storage units, you win some, you lose some. The first unit that I bought in the summer was $10 and it was a, a clean unit to clean out. The second unit I bought was the $20 unit that had the military items in it. That was a great unit for 20 bucks. This <laughs> unit was $5 and uh, left me speechless, lesson learned. Sometimes it is just trash. Who knows? There's always the next storage unit. And hopefully that will be better. Hopefully one is not blinded all the time by the boxes and the bags, thinking of what could be inside. $5, not too bad. I was able to bring you this video to show you what people store in a storage unit and have us still continually asking the question, why? Why, why do you store these things? Catch up fake canned good banks, some clothing. You never know what you're going to find in the next unit. We'll just have to wait and see. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this storage unit video, please be sure to click on that little thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos from storage units to estate sales to flea markets to auctions. I do everything. Thanks for watching, have a great day. I'll see you all next time for the next adventure here at Paper and Moose. I'm gonna get back to cleaning out this, this unit this mess of a unit but still fun still learning still an adventure